Uh, I'm an Ando, I'm an artist a, and a designer. I have been really into zines lately. Last video was about it. Uh, something that maybe you might realize is that my voice sucks really bad today. I have been dealing with a horrible, horrible, horrible cold lately. Hopefully you won't even realize that I'm basically undergoing the bilingual challenge right now. How to have your voice completely busted up and still be understandable on your second language. Anyways, what are we talking about today? Well, last video was about scenes, why I love them, why you should do them, why they are so easy to make and why they can be basically anything you want, which is amazing, it's really cool, it's very punk rock, very anarchic, fuck the system. And today I want to follow up that video, you don't need to watch it, even though you should, and you should give it a like and subscribe to the channel and comment on it, because my channel is really small and I need the help. And if you don't subscribe, you will probably never see anything from me again, because YouTube kind of works like that. But anyways, I selected like four or five zines that I think are really cool. They are completely free. I will put a link on the comments so you can get a copy of each one of those. They are really, really cool. I actually printed some of them because they were that cool. Some of and I hope you like the video. Let's start. All right. This is the first scene of the night. It's about Dune, which is a series of books from Frank Herbert, one of the guys who... He didn't invent sci-fi, but he was one of the most influential authors of the genre. But to be honest, you don't need to watch the movies or read a book to enjoy this. This is basically an art book. It's by Archon Trakhanov. One thing that I like from the get-go is the limited pa color palette. And I mean, usually black, white and brown would be very dreary, but it fits. It fits really well to the themes of the story. I'm starting a small collection of zines. If I find a zine that I like a lot, I just print it. If it's free. This one I actually wanted to have it printed physically. Look at this, man. This is amazing. I really like Archon's art style. It's very flowy. It's very freestyle. It has some... It feels like I'm watching a gorilla's clip. You know, it's that very flowy, very expressive trace. The way the clothes are very organic. Like, it's almost as if they're made of parts of animals. Some of the artwork actually reminds me of Picasso, in a good way. I usually... Picasso is an artist that I really admire, but people tend to overhype him. This is basically a character, it's the main character on the story of the book. He has to put his hand on a box that will basically try to fry his mind with sheer pain. In, he has to pretend that he doesn't feel anything to prove that he has a huge degree of mental discipline and fortitude. So I really like the way that Archon have drawn him with a very, hmm, I'm fine, kind of look. And another detail, notice the faces. I like how every face has very different uh, shapes and sizes, which, I mean, obviously you should do that because people have different kinds of faces, but I feel like a lot of new artists, I feel they just do the do a circle, then a cross, and then they put the eyes and the mouth. It, it's, we learn a very formulaic way to do hats that anatomically works, but it's it makes every single character have the same head shape and size. So it, it, it's... Some people... I like anime, but it's kind of an anime syndrome. Everyone has different hair, maybe eyes, but the face is kind of the same. So, going to the next one. Alright, into the next one, it's how to manage the heat. Which sounds kind of dirty when you speak it out loud like that. Uh, it's just very artsy. I want to show kind of a variety of stuff that you can do with zines. And this one, 
makes me feel very represented because I'm a Brazilian. I live in a very, very hot climate. And my in my hometown, 36 degrees was kind of... Oh, it's starting to get a bit warm, huh? And 40 degrees wasn't very difficult to happen. And sometimes you just... You have to live with the heat, man. You can't run away from it. There's a certain desperation in trying to sleep while sweating and you feel your bad damn... Oh, man. <laughs> Just bad memories all around. All right. First of all, it's black and white, which is very traditional for zines. You have to understand that zines... Most zines are made to be cheap, cheap not in badly made, but easily reproducible. And black and white is kind of easy to do by yourself, usually. It's easier to edit, and it's cheaper to print, too, because uh, zines kind of went through this renaissance period during the 70s when Xerox became kind of accessible, and people could just go to Walmart and Xerox a bunch of stuff in black and white, usually in very, very bad quality, but it would work. So let's see this. This one is very artsy-fartsy in a good way. So the first thing that you notice is that this zine is very short. It's this photography art book where the theme is just heat and dark rooms, which makes reminds me even more of very, very warm nights where they're trying to sleep and you just can't. So, okay. How do you manage the heat? During the day, close all windows and draw all their curtains. Seal all cracks of light with tin foil, cardboard, or any other available material. Dude, are you trying to protect yourself against the heat or nuclear fallout? <laughs> Utilize box fans to pull cool air into the home or and or push hot air out. If you already if you already have a box fan, purchase another. <laughs> yeah, I, I can relate to that. It feels so ominous. The photography. While keeping your entire home cool is ideal, choose one room to focus on. This room should have as few windows as possible and be closer to the ground. A basement, for example, is perfect. <laughs> this looks like a dungeon, man. Make peace with the fact that you will not be purchasing an air conditioning unit this year. <laughs> God damn it, you're my Brazilian brother, man. Does, do we have the, the name of the offer? Do we? No, we don't. But it, it's a Brazilian dude, I swear it. Take frequent cool showers. Wear your wet swimsuit. Arrange buckets of ice water on the floor to dip your feet in. Wet your hair. I'm gonna be honest, I never did all the following at the same time, but I did all of those to deal with the heat. Keep your mind off the heat by looking at images of the Arctic <laughs> or the polar south. We suggest March of the Penguins <laughs> or the Fang. Okay, one is very wholesome, the other is very unwholesome. <laughs> but alright, it's very cold. Do not look at these images too long. Your device may get hot. <laughs> okay, okay. Prepare your meals in advance and prioritize Dishes that require no heat. We recommend salads, cereals, and sandwiches. Keep our freezer stocked. Bags of frozen vegetables can be used as soothing ice packs. Don't think about the heat, okay? Don't think about the heat. Yeah, it's not. Bra it's not a Brazilian guy. He, he wouldn't use North America heat wave. Look at this. This is this is a print from Wikipedia. <laughs> Don't think about the heat. Don't think about the heat. The pages are burning. Free. If it gets cool enough at night, open all windows and place fans at their sills. This is a good trick. So, as you can see, you can do a very artsy thing. Like, the person, the author of this zine probably had like some hot, very warm night themed photos that he took while suffering to get to sleep and he kind of got creative with it, and I find this very relatable. It, it's like it's free, you can have it, you can print it, it's really cool, man. I, I'm probably gonna give it to someone as a gift. I, if I'm not mistaken, she's gonna laugh. So, the next one, look at this, this is so cute. 
The next one is by Ezra Rose. I don't really know much about her, but if I'm not mistaken, she's a LGBTQ Jewish woman who kind of wants to share her cultural inheritance with the world by doing very small zines with themes from Jewish mythology. This one is about Shaijins, which are Jewish demons. This one is about Jewish angels. These ones are about the Dibuks, which it's a very decent movie if you haven't watched it. And the Golan. Those are very small and I kind of overdid it by printing it insanely high quality and with really nice paper. Just And I, I think this is a cool zine to show because and I think those are uh, very cool miniseries of zines to show just to prove that you don't need to do something overly complicated. These ones are basically one sheet of paper each and you just fold it in a way that it becomes a booklet. Look, this is the golem. I'm not gonna read it out loud, but look at this. This is really cute. And she kind of wrote this by hand. Ezra, if you by any chance watch this, you have very very pretty handwriting. Like, goddamn. The Golden of Prague. I actually heard of this legend before, but I never actually read it. This is so cute, man. And I mean, anyone can do this. Do you have Do you have anything interesting that you'd like to show to the world? Do you have anything that you'd like to... It doesn't even need to be very important. It can just be, oh, look, this is my first, this is how I, I've done my first tattoo. I actually saw a guy who just did a zine about that. And let me show how she made this. Okay. Do you see this? It's just a sheet of paper. So you just fold it like this, like this. See what I mean? And then you cut a gap inside. So you do this. And you have a booklet. It's so simple. I, As I said, I kind of overdid it by printing it in very thick, extra thick paper. But I don't regret it. It's so cute. One of, I imagine that one of the most difficult parts of doing this project was probably trying to summarize very complex, very long stories and informations in such a small format. Of course, I'm sure she's not super going in depth in each one, but it's still, it's very difficult to do that sometimes. And this is it. I hope you guys can notice how much fun I had recording this one because my voice just it's just wrecked right now, but it, it was really fun. I love sharing stuff that I'm passionate about. I love sharing this kind of unknown things that I find online that I think are really cool and nobody knows about. And you can get each one of these zines for free. I mean, unless you want to print it, so you just have the cost of printing. It's Zines are really amazing, man. You, they can be anything. They can be any shape. You can do very artsy-fartsy pamphlets. And I say artsy-fartsy in the best way possible. I love this one. You can do art books. You can do cute little pamphlets. You can do full fashion magazines of your fandom. And I hope that by showing this, you'll be inspired to do some of your own. If you do, send it to me. I want to have it. And maybe I can even do a small review later on. And I see you guys next time. Bye.